So what this video is going to look like, I'm actually going to react to the cast, how I think they might do, what their strategies look like, who they are as a person, why we even casted them, what is so great about them. We're just going to analyze the cast. We're going to do a full meet me. Okay, everybody. <laughs> Hello, Total Pole family. My name is Wesley Bryant. I'm the creator, executive producer, and now the host of The Totem Pole. And I want to talk to you about season three and the cast, because let's be honest, it's time to meet the cast. We've done enough of the teasing. We've done enough of the little posts here and there. I'm tired of the breadcrumbs. You're tired of the breadcrumbs. Let's just talk about the cast. Now for season three, we wanted to go big. We wanted it to be massive. We have new props. We have new twists. We have a new everything. It's huge. For the first time, we opened casting to everyone, everyone in the world. We had applications from all over the United States, but also outside of the United States. We watched all of your videos, we read through every application, and we dug through everything. And there was a lot of it, so thank you for that. Even though you applied and you didn't get a call this time, that doesn't mean you don't get a call in the future. So you should always, always apply. Apply every single time, we're always gonna watch it, and who knows, you could be next. But now, let's talk about season three. For this season, we're doing something brand new. So we put 10 of them in the living room and they're about to play the game. But what these 10 players don't know is that four more players are about to walk in the house and play this game with them. This season is a season of baggage. That means twist all throughout the season from the cast to the defender, to the challenges, everything will have to do with baggage. And it's gonna flip this game on its head. Because let's be honest, we're all carrying baggage. There's baggage in everyone's lives. But some of these players are carrying a little bit more baggage than everyone else. Enough of all of that. Let's get to it. Let's meet the cast. Up first, we have Tessa. Tessa is absolutely amazing. Tessa Dupree is her name. And she's actually studying psychology and her dream job is to work in a prison. <laughs> Tessa is so outside the box and she's super unpredictable and you never really know what she's gonna say or do next. And her casting video was so funny. She was hilarious. And you're gonna get to see more about her casting video a little later on. <laughs> to be honest, when she's in a large group, she seems to be a little bit quieter, but it's because she's thinking. Her wheels are always spinning. She's either thinking of like what her next move is or what she can say to position herself better, or she's analyzing you. Again, she's studying psychology, so her brain is always spinning. To me in her application and her videos and in her, her interviews, she talked a lot about analyzing people and seeing how they play the game. And we're gonna see if that's how she plays or not, how that affects her, if she's gonna be good at it or what. I don't know, we're just gonna have to see. And I know she's gonna be serving you amazing confessionals that you are going to eat up. And I think as a player, she has a lot of potential in the game. Up next, we have Asher. She's a student from Arkansas. She's grown up in Arkansas her entire life. And she is someone who appreciates this game. From my understanding, she's actually played this game with some of her friends and interacted with people from the show. She's a huge fan, been watching from the beginning, season one, season two, and now she's made it onto season three. And as someone on this side of the camera, as the creator of the game, it means a lot to me to see someone who appreciates the game itself so much. Um, and there's so many of you who do that, and it really does, like you stick out. Like whenever you put so much into it, we see it and we love you so much for it. Like we love you. <laughs> but anyways, we see you, we love you. Um, and Asher is one of those people. She's played this game a lot. And from my understanding, whenever she played with her friends, one time she won. So she's really good at it. However, there's a baggage twist. And this game, this season has new elements that nobody could have prepared for, including Asher. She's probably the quietest person in the cast, but that doesn't mean she doesn't bring a lot to the table. She brings a lot to the table and she has a lot to offer. And next we have Jackie. She was a college soccer player in Texas, but now she is studying screenwriting. She wants to be a writer. I fell in love with Jackie the second I saw her application and you're gonna get to see a part of it too, that literally you're just like, I love this girl. She's absolutely amazing. She gets it. Um, and I don't know if it's because she's a writer or what, but like the way she uses her words and the way that she understands life really shines through in who she is as a person. She's strong and she always keeps going. And as a, you know, a college athlete, Athlete, you have to be a strong person that keeps pushing yourself and that's exactly who she is this game can be intense and with a twist of baggage 
anybody could, you know, walk in through the door. Could it be someone from her past? I don't know. I can't give you too many spoilers, but she may be affected a little bit more than others. <laughs> Up next we have Luke. He is a freelance choreographer from Texas. Luke is one of the most magnetic people on the cast. Even just in his videos and his applications, in his interviews on FaceTime and everything, he was so funny. I was trying to be serious and like get information out of him, but he kept making me laugh. So I was just sitting there like, don't laugh. He's so funny, he's so magnetic, and you're going to eat him up. I hope he does well because you're gonna to wanna to see a lot of him. This isn't shady, I'm not trying to be shady, but I can tell from his videos that he is sneaky. Um, and he knows what words to say to get what he wants out of people, and I think he's gonna bring that to the game as well. He was a super fan who applied and made it on the show, and to be honest, that could be you. Up next is Madison. She is a student from Texas, but she's studying in Arkansas. Madison, <laughs> Maddie for sure, is something else. Y'all are gonna fall in love with her. She is the perfect mixture of like emotion, but understanding at the same time, and she says her mind. Maddie is full of energy, and she just has a presence about her that you're gonna know who she is whenever she's in the room, whenever she's walking into a room. She's just someone who is like a lightning bolt of energy and emotion, um, but she's also quirky at the same time. There are people who, want it, who get emotional and they don't wanna talk about it, but that's not her. This girl is emotional. She got emotional on her casting video. And I'm like, you probably gonna end up crying, girl. <laughs> There's gotta be one. <laughs> Maddie actually has some people from season two that she's not on the best of terms with. And this season being baggage, anything can happen. Up next, we have Nicole. She works in the healthcare industry. And something that's really important to her is foster care and housing for an exchange student. She serves on a lot of boards to like better her community. And I love that about her. I love that she knows that there are people who are not built the best cards in the world, but she makes a move to make someone else's life better. And she does that every day through her job and through her personal life. And I absolutely adore that about her. On the other hand, Nicole is so strategic. Her application was really long, like no shade, Nicole. Her application was really long, but it was full of so much strategy. And it wasn't just strategy that was like, this is what I wanna do and this is what you have to do. She was like, no, she was getting down, this, down to the nitty gritty details that she has perfected through playing online games and hosting her own. On top of that, she understands how unpredictable the totem pole is. She gets it. She is someone who has a fire under her to play this game and I cannot wait to watch her play. Up next we have Shane. He works in reality television and is from Los Angeles, California. Shane has also been a super fan of the totem pole, which means a lot to us. And his application really stood out to me. And here's why. A lot of people who apply for reality games are really competitive. And so is he. A lot of people want to make it to the end. Of course he does as well. But a lot of people are savage. They're aggressive. They will cut you at all costs. They will fight to make it to the end. Shane, however, is unique because I could see in his video, he just has this kindness about him where he cares about you. He makes a point that it's not about, you know, doing whatever it takes to get to the end. He believes that if you build those relationships and you actually care about people and you show how you're gonna benefit other people and you're their friend and you get to know them, how it can really benefit your game. That's something that really stuck out to me was how bright his energy is that just his presence alone makes you feel good about yourself. He's a player who has heart, who wants to make it to the end, but also wants to make it to the end with you. Um, will that be good for his game? I don't know. But it brings something new to the table that we would love to watch. On top of that, it is simply iconic that he works for Big Brother, he worked for Celebrity Big Brother, Love Island. He's in the world of reality television and he's someone, you know, on the other side of the camera when it comes to the shows that we love. It's gonna be amazing to watch him play who now actually be a player and get on the other side of the camera to do what he can to make it to the end. Up next we have Connor. Connor actually sent in two 
applications, which is usually like a no-no, but his first application was super impressive and his second one just told us so much more about him on an emotional level, which was perfect. And that's what we're looking for. We just want to know who you are. Peel back the onion, take off the layers and show us who you are. And that's exactly what he did. And to be honest, I fell in love with him. His first video showed us just how funny he is. He's someone that can make you laugh. He also wants to win this game at all costs. And his strategy is going to be really interesting whenever we throw in the baggage twist. Connor also talked about how he feels like he's been carrying baggage his whole life. We're all carrying baggage. But the thing that stuck out to me about Connor was he said that he's no longer gonna let that baggage define him. He is no longer gonna be weighed down by anything. We all have baggage. And the difference is if you let it weigh you down or not. That is exactly where he is in his life. And I'm so proud of him and I cannot wait to watch him play. And it's not fair if I spoil his story for him. So I'm gonna let him do all the talking in his Meet Me video. Up next, we have Josh, a photographer from Orlando, Florida. Josh is a powerhouse player. I recognized Josh from a live reality game called Mayhem Manor and some other online reality games. And I knew that he was a huge super fan of the totem pole. He had made edits of CJ from season two and posted them, <laughs> which are great. We watch all of those too. I love them. Josh is so funny. He's absolutely hilarious. He's gonna keep you laughing. He's gonna keep the cast laughing. Honestly, I'm gonna be laughing behind the camera. He is so funny and he's such a good person too. I think Josh's strength is going to be his social gameplay. He is someone who gets in there and tries to talk to everyone. Who walks through the door, what twists are brought out through the defender, through the save cards, through the power cards. Everyone is carrying baggage and at any point we can open that baggage up and dig inside. I think Josh is another one of those players where his game is going to depend on how he handles this baggage twist. So up next is Derek, and I have a super funny story about Derek. I met Derek actually a few years ago in New Orleans. Here's the story about how I met Derek. I got into an argument with an Uber driver. They were trying to scam me, and I wasn't having it, so I was arguing. Derek, who's beside me, takes the phone and lights this Uber driver up, which, don't get me wrong, I didn't need any help. I can handle myself, I can handle my own, I need help. Um, but Derek took the phone and lit that dude up. So whenever he applied and I saw his casting video, I knew that he would be perfect for the show. He is someone who has so much energy about him. He is like a lightning bolt. Something about him that draws you to him. You're gonna fall in love with him. He's so authentic. Nothing about him is fake. If he doesn't like you, you're gonna know. If he likes you, you're gonna know. And knowing someone like him with this cast and with a baggage twist, I just know he's going to be dynamite and he's gonna be amazing to watch. <laughs> so, good luck everybody. <laughs> Up next we have Sabrina from San Antonio, Texas. She is a physical therapist and you may know her from somewhere else. Sabrina actually is from Big Brother Columbus, another reality YouTube show where in fact she won. Sabrina is a powerhouse player. She is someone who fights her way through everything and she won Big Brother Columbus. So Sabrina is such a social player, but she also brings this physical dynamic to it as well. So she kind of has two punches in the ring where other people just are, have a strength in one. I felt like Sabrina in casting had multiple avenues where she had strengths. It's also important to me that the reality YouTube community helps each other out in this reality. We're all in this together and we love each other. The more we work together and grow the community together, it is going to be amazing for us in the long run and there is no limit to what we can accomplish. Up next we have Jada. Jada is from Texas and something that is super fun and unique about her is that she is TikTok famous. Yes, we have a TikTok star. You can look at her TikTok here and go follow her and watch all of her videos. She's absolutely hilarious. You're gonna find her so funny. And something that's super cool about Jada is I did not know her that well until she actually came to the season one premiere of the totem pole when no one knew what the totem pole was. I hosted a premiere party on my university's campus in an auditorium where I thought maybe 30 to 40 people would show up, the cast and their friends, but it was a packed house. And when I hit play, I went to the back of the theater, I found a little seat. It wasn't in like the official auditorium chairs, it was like a seat off to the side, like a normal chair. Anyways, I sit down and she comes and sits down beside me and we actually watch the season premiere for season one together. There's also two more people joining the cast that I cannot reveal yet, but two players are coming back to play this game. Two players with a baggage who are back for redemption. 
to try to do what they can to win this game. Who do you think the two returning players are? Who are you rooting for out of this cast? Comment down below. Let us know what you think. Again, we read all the comments and this new, brand new season three cast will also be in the comments reading, responding, and having fun with you. If you want to follow them on social media and get to know them a little bit more, you can look in the description below for all of their social media handles. If you want to have a discussion with me, Brett, another executive producer of the show, and other people who are behind the camera, and people from season one, and people from season two, and people from season three, you can join us in our communities on Instagram chats, Twitter chats, Reddit, Discord, all of that stuff is also in the description box below and make sure to get you some merch every time you buy merch it helps support the show and helps us make a future season it costs five to six to maybe even seven thousand dollars to produce a show it's really expensive and i'm fresh out of college i made season one and two when i was in college so anyways if you want to support the show and get your merch you can also do that at the link below we love you so 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 much thank you for everything that you've given us and you are a part of the totem pole family and we are so appreciative of that i hope you enjoyed this video be sure to hit that subscribe and bell button all that fun stuff you know the drill so that we can grow the show and grow this community thank you we love you goodbye Mwah.